Hey guys, I've been sent by Melbourne Underground to explore various types of religious music. The two types we'll be focusing on today are choir and chanting music. Let's go take a look. say inspires you to perform? Singing together really uh, allows us to express I think that that unity where we're praying the scriptures, uh, putting it to music and praising God together in that way. Namu tas bhagavatu arahatu samma sang buddhas Namu tas bhagavatu arahatu samma sang buddhas Namu tas bhagavatu arahatu samma sang buddhas. There are specific ways of chanting for different uh, uh, sutras. Uh, Buddha recommended that uh, uh, we chant them rightly pronouncing uh, the words so that uh, chanting the sound goes uh, together with the meaning of it. I'd say something like this, that singing takes you outside yourself. I mean, just, just simply in order to sing with other people, you have to be attentive to other people. You have to be attentive to the rhythm. You have to be attentive to the pitch, you have to be attentive to keeping with, not going faster than or slower than the other singers. So singing takes you out of yourself and unites yourself with other people, first of all. So the first thing I'd say is singing binds us together as a community. Yeah, as a, where I come from, singing is a, somehow is a combining your expression towards what we are believing in. Concern of suing uh, ourselves. Well, there you have it. An insight into two types of religious music variations within Melbourne. I hope you had as much fun as I've had. For Melbourne Underground, I'm Dylan Dower. Enjoyed this video? Make sure you follow our channel or check out our social media by following the links. Thanks, guys.